Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quentin here and this is tutorial number 11 and in this tutorial we are going to be taking a look at some buttons. So something you guys may be aware of in uh, HTML is that we normally have three different ways to create buttons but in Bootstrap we actually have four different um, ways to create buttons. So We've got uh, an A tag, which uh, let me go ahead and start coding this out for you. But we can use an A tag to create a button. So we're going to create a link that looks like a button, basically. And I'm going to give this a class of btn and btn default. And I might as well copy this now because I'm going to be using it a couple times. Uh, and I'm going to give this an href of. Uh, just hash so I'll, but now our link is not going to take us anywhere and I'm going to close this link tag and uh, just close it over here as well and we will type the word link so if I save this and I jump over to our browser you can see that I've got a link that actually looks like a button because we've given it this class and this is uh, for when you want to create a button that'll link a user to a different page where they can fill in some information or something um, That's where this is kind of useful then uh, We've also got uh, a bunch of different other ways which you guys should be aware of by now and that is to create a button tag and uh, End off the button tag and give it the exact same class of button uh, or btn and btn default and I'm going to just give this some text of button and uh, of course that makes a button and because we're using the uh, exact same uh, class over here the buttons actually look exactly the same so that's just the default styling for a button in bootstrap uh, but we can go ahead and um, show you the next two ways to create buttons which is with an input and both of these next methods are going to be inputs so um, the first input is going to be a type of a button and the second input is going to be a type of uh, submit so if I go ahead and copy this and save that or paste that and say submit then we've got a one input with a type of button and one input with a type of submit and I might as well give each of these a value as well. So this is going to be input button and this one is going to be uh, submit Whoops. value of submit. Okay. And in fact, I think input button is way too long. Let's just make that input. So go ahead and save this now. And I'll go back over to the browser and hit refresh. And you can see we've got a link button, we've got a button that's made with a button tag, we've got our input button, and we've got a submit button which is also an input. So these two are more to be used in forms. Uh, this one is more to be used uh, like just to click on and run some JavaScript to calculate something or whatever you want to do. If you want to run a script you'll use one of these buttons. And yeah, that's pretty much... Uh, that's pretty much what the uses for all of those are but I want to show you a bunch of other cool stuff that we can do with this because we can ap apply bootstraps contextual classes to these buttons and by contextual classes I'm talking about that primary danger uh, success those classes so let's go ahead and actually just copy this row and I'm going to paste this and the f um, I'm actually going to get rid of the link and I'm going to get rid of these other two so we're just going to be using the button tags um, um, button default you've kind of seen by now but I will leave it over here anyways but I'm gonna I'm gonna paste this other line I think I should do it about seven times so what's that one two three four five six seven cool um, and uh, I'll leave the first one default the second one I'm going to say btn primary as the class and of course you guys can pretty much guess what this is going to do 
but I'm going to continue adding all of the classes here. So success, danger, warning, info, and uh, the last one I'm going to add is going to be btn link. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And if I jump back over to the browser and hit refresh, you can see that now I've got my default button. Then I've got my primary button, success button, danger button, warning button, info button, and a button that actually looks like a link. So uh, this is kind of weird. Like we've got a link over here that looks like a button. And then we've got a button over here that looks like a link. But Bootstrap just kind of gave us this functionality so that if you ever want a button to look like a link, you can go ahead and do that. Or if you ever want a link to look like a button, you can go ahead and do that as well. So it's up to you to decide where you want to use them. But I'm just going to let you know that the uh, option of using them like that is there. Okay, so we've got our buttons. Now let's take a look at button sizes because uh, something else we can do in Bootstrap is actually make our buttons bigger or smaller using certain classes. And um, I'm actually feeling kind of lazy. I don't really want to make a new row, but uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and do it anyways. And um, I'm going to maybe just get rid of all of this stuff and use just the default button. And that's going to be the default size. Then we also need one for uh, BTN large. So if I add the class BTN dash LG, that stands for button large, and that's going to make this button even bigger than the default. And then I can also go ahead and add another class over here, which is going to be BTN dash uh, SM, just like that. And that's going to make this button small, so it's going to be smaller than the default. And we've got one last button size to work with, which is BTN dash XS, and that's button extra small which obviously is the smallest version of our buttons. So if I come back here and hit refresh, you can see that now I've got a kind of normal button, a really big button, a smaller button, and you can see how that is actually smaller than that. And then we've got an extra small button, which is obviously the smallest button here. Okay, so we've also got the option of making different size buttons for different size screens. Although, um, for SEO purposes and stuff, I actually know that the bigger the button, the better. Um, well, not really, but in a way. So the default button, I think, is kind of works fine across all platforms. There's no need to change the size. But if you really want to change the size of the button, the option is available. Okay. Uh, and that's all I have to talk to you guys about buttons. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like, or share this video. It's really going to help my channel grow. And I'll see you guys next time.